hey what's up guys today i'm gonna be talking specifically about the helmet mod and showing my helmets if you're not interested in this kind of vlog you can just skip this one but remember to come back on saturday because i'm doing another night vlog i'll get some epic music i've got some footage maybe i'll do another vlog before that so make sure you're subscribed and you come back on saturday thank you for watching and let's get this helmet vlog started. I want to start this vlog by showing you my helmets, the ones I have. Now this is my pilot's helmet. It's a really cool one. It's got this cool double visor. So one is a tinted visor and the other one is a clear visor for night. I like this helmet. This is my basic fiberglass helmet uh, go-kart style with cool monster graphics this is my Volga you can see the design this I can remove this chin bar and then it can just convert into a three-quarter helmet I like it also this one has graphics really cool this one is, I believe it's DOT. Yes, this one has DOT certification. This is the one that I'm using for vlogging. Mm -hmm. It's my, um, this is a Vega off-road helmet. You can see where I mount my camera when it's not, I'm not using the chest mount or the handlebar mount. It's a very basic I can say the, uh, there are no graphics. I wanted it to be like this because I wanted to work on it. Um, it's only ISI rated. That's an Indian rating agency. This is the one I'm going to be modding. And we'll come back to it in a while. This is my new helmet. I'm super excited. It's a race spec ready. Um, brand is Empty Helmets of Spain. DOT, ECE, all the fancy stuff, nice winds, good graphics, I wanted high whiz. I'm going to be using this for only for rides um, where I go on or maybe if I do a track day. This is going to be part one of two mod series because right now I want to talk to you guys about first why am I doing the mod and two what am I doing with it? I will reveal the final one in part two. Let's get rid of all these helmets and get started. I bought this helmet online from Amazon.in. Starts with 1400 bucks up to 3000 if you go for graphics or maybe fancier colors, but I chose black. Now buying online I was excited as you can see it's got many reviews 580 customer reviews and the problem with that is every time I step out oh god I'm having lighting issues guys so please sorry it's raining outside the problem with that is most of the reviews are pretty good it's 4.5 but this shit you can see this is absolute shit and I'm having problems getting a tinted or a smoked visor no one from this company seems to be monitoring their social media or their email I ordered it online I saw it on one website I ordered it and even those guys have said it's not in stock oh, what a bummer another thing is the reason I want to mod it is because it's just probably one of the most fucking common helmets now on roads here in Pune. I was riding uh, the other day, maybe like a 10 kilometer ride uh, during the office hours when everyone is going home. I kid you not, I probably saw 15 people wearing this helmet right here. Not in this paint scheme exactly, not this matte black. Uh, it's a hit right now, people like this design. And as you can see, I have already removed the sun peak. Uh, this, although is, is helpful uh, when you do off-road riding or something like that, it 
the minute you hit 50 kilometers per hour it just catches a lot of wind and a lot of wind noise so it's not not really recommended for fast driving let's get into what mods i'm going to do first of all i'm going to reverse and mount the sun peak like this so you can see from the pictures it looks pretty neat what i'm going to do is probably cut this section out and i might even shorten this part so it will act like a, a stabilizer if you've seen the race spec helmets they all have a, a wing over here so this might actually act as a stabilizer at the same time it will make my helmet look different then i've got these led lights the basic uh not basic these are expensive it's uh almost let me see i've got two of those and they write light up red two modes flashing and solid and it's from this brand called b twin famous cycling brand those those are batteries in it which should last you a long time and you can see i picked it up for 600 bucks a piece and it's silicon it's got a silicon strap so I can operate it even without the strap and I'm planning to mount them on the side facing forward and maybe I will get another one and I'll mount it just below the stabilizer like this so that the days when there is maybe uh, a visibility problem or it's raining or it's foggy i can use it uh, or i'm doing highway runs at night i can use it to get extra visibility and make sure no trucks or vehicles don't see me coming secondly i've also got this light uh, this is a handlebar light it's got three modes the i think the first one is light then it's brighter and then it's flashing this is rechargeable again with silicon strap let me just pull it out all right yeah you can see it's a silicon strap i can have it cut it's rechargeable via usb and what i'm planning to do is not this one specifically i might get uh, a black or a red or an orange depending on what uh, I find it looks good and I'm gonna mount either of these on these this side One on this side and one on this side. Obviously, it's gonna look much better when I finish it And it'll give my helmet a very unique look So that's what I don't want to put up any Lego pieces like Mr. Walterific has done because I feel they don't really add like I said, I want it to be uh, form and function not just for the looks uh, a lot of people do a lot of things which are pretty useless and I don't want to be one of those that's one of the reasons why I have put Walter's image in the cover it's not a clickbait he I really like his helmet it's really cool it stands out and I might you can see the back it looks pretty dull so I might do some high vis graphic design or just put some reflector strips I want to go with orange because that's my favorite color fluorescent orange let me know what do you think guys if you have any suggestions if you have any idea how I can get this tinted I don't want it smoked I think a tinted one will look better so let me know what do you guys think and thank you for watching be subscribed like comment and share this video if you find it interesting some people even called it the batman helmet which i think is pretty cool thank you for watching i love your support have a nice day uh -oh.